Hi YouTube, Alex here. Today we're installing Velux skylight blinds. If you're not familiar with Velux, you're not familiar with skylights. Velux has been in the business for a long time. In my opinion, I think they're top notch. Uh, Anderson used to be a good skylight window brand. Um, I don't even know if they support skylights anymore. So, I was sent out to install four skylight blinds. They're relatively easy to install. They're click and play. Most modern skylights are already pre-set up for blinds. You could order them pre-installed with blinds. Um, but uh, to my surprise, when I came here and I opened up the box, what I found was uh, solar powered remote controlled blinds which are awesome uh, I won't be recording the install the install and the instructions are pretty straightforward uh, after reading through the instructions you could do one in I don't know less than 10 minutes if you had a, a power drill with small Torx bit you could shave that time in half I just use the uh, I use the screwdriver that was provided in the box so, uh, I'll show you a picture of the box. Here's what I was presented with. Four skylight vents, or sorry, four skylight blinds that I just threw in the back of my car. Thank God I locked the doors all the time. Uh, I didn't realize they were uh, wireless blinds. Can't imagine how much one of these cost. <laughs> I really would have hated losing one on my watch. But uh, if you look it up, I'll try to get the directions or a link to an install video. They're really simple to install. Skylights, you think you want all the light in the world, but I'll tell you a lot of times it provides more light than you truly want. So blinds are definitely the way to go. A lot better than tinting the glass. Here's the provided screwdriver. These brackets go here in the corners. They hold the side pieces together. These screws fasten the side pieces. So, that's it. Break this tab off. This tab here, you leave this intact, that lines you up with the edge of the uh, skylight. This tab here. Is dead in that corner like that and this bottom piece here you snap that off after you put your fastener in there all right you do the same thing to there this is the uh, side rails you notice the screw areas you put in three fasteners on each side they slide into the head unit the head unit just clips in there's a uh, 45 degree cut that gets installed, then it clicks into the bottom brackets that I just showed you. Then you undo this clip. You take the string, slide it down to the first bracket we installed it, the only bracket we installed in the bottom. Make sure that the strings aren't twisted or anything like that, separate them. And most importantly, the directions aren't really clear on this part. I had to kind of find this out the hard way on how to slide that piece in. Obviously, I, I couldn't shoot the video of me doing the sides one-handed. But you just slide that piece in there. You see it installs really clean. And that's pretty much it. That's the install.